Don't flop Brighton number two. Yo, do the crowd still have a little bit of energy? This is don't flop first quarter the foul. Don't flop all fucking day. You see the hoodie. West England, please make some noise right now. Don't flop, don't flop all fucking day. Yo, what's going on? You're welcome back here. We are. It's gonna be sad. B or W. in 2008, which is now a long, long time ago, or what it seems to be a long time ago. Um, I'm 29 now, we started it when uh, we were both 19. When I say we, it was me and my uh, previous business partner and business partner at the time called Kruger. We started Don't Flop really because from 14, 15 years old, we've been involved in battle rap. Now, we didn't actually know each other at the time. We were just fans. I, I was fans of a channel called Jump Off, and when, when Jump Off was about, really not that many people knew about it. And, and whenever people ask me how did I even get into Jump Off, I can't really give them the answer because I don't know the answer. I was a young kid, and somehow my, my love from rap music transformed into a love of battle rap music. So I started watching Jump Off, me and Kruger met each other at about 16, 17 years old. By 19 years old, we decided what Jump Off do we can do better and in a way that's more relevant to the kind of rap fans we want to touch. Um, because a lot of the Jump Off events were based around like dance battles and producer battles and, and, and silly stuff that they would admit themselves was, was about entertaining the crowd, not about producing like amazingly like, deep content. So we came up with the name Don't Flop because it was a phrase that uh, we used all the time and I still to this day use even though I find it harder to use now because Don't Flop is kind of like a household name with certain people so I feel like it's corny if I say the term but we call it Don't Flop because we were like well, we're, we're starting a battle rap league the one thing we need people to do is to turn up on time, turn up prepared, kill the battle blah 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 and we felt like Don't Flop was a perfect name. Okay, you come forward a minute, a little bit shorter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm quite serious, so guys. And the scuttle of the rats that come through your thoughts tonight. Of... Bro, it's coming up in two minutes' time. Having a trademark, Sean and uh, Tom to the side of the stage. The moon shine, that's taking back to 79. I'm going to Tom and Lee, stop with these. Because I'm at Riggs for the fucking machete today, and fuck trying to edge DNA. I put Pesci's DNA on the edge of a blade. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, it was quite, it was quite slow moving, really, from I would say 2008 when we began, because he was at university, I was at university, we were much, much younger and didn't really have the focus, obviously. So it was slow moving, I would say, for like five years, which is crazy, because at the time it felt like the biggest thing ever. But when we look back on it now, in 2019, a lot of what we did wasn't really that big and didn't really matter that much. In 2012. It was definitely the pivotal point, which anyone who's into Don't Flop would tell you at the time, that was the pivotal point. We had more stars come in, because that's what you need if you want to blow up in any kind of scene. You need a star, you need, you need an artist people can get behind. And you would see on stage, like tonight as an example, like certain people, certain people have it, whatever it is, and certain people can write bars and they can perform them, and that ain't the same. The people have gone from just wanting to come out and have a laugh, to you need to understand every bit of history and every bit of information and everyone's ex-girlfriend and this and what they've done there any battle i've ever done if you watch me as the battler or anything i've hosted the thing that i enjoy most is just entertaining the crowd and then as soon as it becomes less about entertaining the crowd that's when i kind of lose hope in it yo you wrote two two bars in advance i snuck man on a set with his own gang you turned up late in the two come up with this long-term plan to transform it again back to that 2012 period so that's where we're trying to go now. We're in this like transitional period now, where it's like we've we've been throwing events for a little bit, but we haven't quite reached that point where we know exactly what we're doing. After like ten years, it's really interesting how it goes around in circles and circles and circles. We've almost, in the eyes of some fans, done a 360 from and ended up back where we started. But we've rejuvenated this thing to a point that it's bigger than it even ever was before it collapsed. You know, temporarily. We, we're setting our goals high, and our main goal is to grow Don't Flop back to its former glory, but then add something else on top of that, that we can go do a show like tonight in any city. 
And yeah, like I said, hopefully be sitting here in one year, maybe two years, might be a lot longer, and being able to look back at the last few years and be thinking like, wow, we really were up against it. We had so many people trying to watch us fail. And hopefully I can sit here and do another interview and be like, yeah, I mean, actually, we turn this shit around and we're, we're, we're doing better than ever. Yes, what's good? It's Mickey Workless, we out here. Don't flop Shrewsbury. It's been a fucking sick event. Had a really good battle with a sick MC, Triple J. Check him out, he's from Shrewsbury. I love this battle rap shit, man. I love entertaining people. I like being laughed at, I like being laughed with. It couldn't be better, could it?